the second world war that involved virtually every part of the world during the years 1939 to 1945 the four to five crore deaths incurred in the war make it the bloodiest as well as the largest to war in history let's discuss the important reasons and results of the second world war one treaty of versailles second failure of league of nations third emergence of fascism and nazism fourth the military alliances fifth and the last the policy of appeasement in 1919 after the first world war the victorious nations and the defeated signed many treaties the most important among them was the treaty signed by germany neither germany nor italy had any colony or market therefore enhancing their political economic stability they planned to conquer colonies and attack weak nations second point is failure of league of nations the league of nations an international institution constituted for establishing peace and security after the first world war unfortunately it failed to resist the attack of the axis powers when germany italy and japan attacked other nations the league of nations stayed mum the third point is fascism and nazism mussolini's aggressive foreign policy led him to conquer ethiopia and albania taking the advantages of the feeling of revenge among the germans hitler attacked austria and czechoslovakia the fourth point is military alliances look at the screen in an effort to extend the policy of aggression italy germany and japan formed an alliance axis powers countering this alliance britain france and china formed allied powers later russia and america joined this allied pole in 1941 russia joined the allies because hitler attacked russia without considering the non aggression pact of 1939 signed by both countries america entered in the second world war by joining the allied powers when japan attacked the pearl harbor an american naval base in the islands of hawaii in 1941 the fifth point is policy of appeasement when germany and italy attacked other nations with japan capitalist countries like britain and france did not prevent the attacks they considered soviet union being a socialist country as their chief enemy this policy is encouraged the fascist side and the policy is known as the policy of appeasement when hitler claimed over the sudeten land region of czechoslovakia 
the representatives of Britain, France, Germany and Italy met in German city of Munich and approved Hitler's claim. Watch the screen again. These are the important reasons of the Second World War. On September 1st, 1939, Germany attacked Poland. This prompted the allied nations to declare war against Germany that ultimately resulted in the Second World War. The entry of Russia and America in 1941 in the Second World War, the scene was totally changed. Italy and Germany could not resist its attack. Mussolini was killed. Hitler committed suicide. When the Soviet army tried to move towards Japan, America came there earlier and dropped two atom bombs little boy in hiroshima on august 6 1945 and batman in nagasaki on 9th august soon japan surrendered let's watch a video clip after falling for 43 seconds the time and barometric triggers started the firing mechanism a uranium bullet fired down Let's a barrel point. into a uranium target. Together they started a nuclear chain reaction. Solid matter began to come apart, releasing untold quantities of energy. Economic system of European countries was destroyed. European dominance in world diminished. Freedom movements in Asia and Africa intensified. America and Soviet Union emerged as global powers. In a bid to preserve and maintain world peace, the United Nations Organization was formed in October 1990. Let's conclude. Aggressive nationalism promoted by Marxism and Nazism was the fundamental reason of the outbreak of Second World War. The last three points of the consequences of the Second World War must be studied in detail. So let's explain one about the United Nations Organization. It is an intergovernmental organization that aims to maintain international peace and security, develop friendly relations among nations, achieve international cooperation and be a center for harmonizing the actions of nations. It is the largest, most familiar, most internationally represented and most powerful intergovernmental organization in the world. October 24th is observed as United Nations Organization. After the Second World War, efforts were taken to set up an organization for preserving global peace. It resulted in the establishment of United Nations Organization on 24th October 1945. The headquarters of the UN is in New York. Look at the screen. The following are some of the objectives of UN. Save the succeeding generations from the scourge of war. Protect international treaties and laws. Foster social and economic development of countries. 
the political condition of the newly independent nations in the post war condition was very favorable the colonies started to acquire freedom from the imperialist control this process is called decolonization let's recall we have already learned colonization that is capturing colonies now it is the just opposite of the term that is decolonization which resulted into the freedom of such colonies colonies started to acquire freedom from the imperialist control this process is called decolonization let's look into the factors that induced decolonization one dominance of imperial powers was questioned after the second world war second the european countries could not suppress the nationalist movements third the superpowers like usa and ussr supported freedom movements in european colonies these are some of the leaders who fought for freedom for their countries another political situation during the post second world war that was cold war cold war is a state of conflict between the nations that does not involve direct military action but is pursued primarily through economic and political actions the newly emerged supreme powers usa and ussr floated two blocks capitalist block and socialist block respectively this enmity based on ideological conflict and diplomatic confrontation was called the cold war the enmity of usa and ussr based on ideological conflict and diplomatic confrontation was called the cold war the situation was described by the famous historian anold twinby bipolar world during the cold war period usa and ussr formed some military packs nato c2 and cento were under the control of america and warsaw pact was led by soviet union you are watching the leaders of some newly emerged free nations they realized that cold war was yet another phase of imperialism that it would threaten world peace the liberated nations like india decided not to join any of the blocks and formed non aligned movement they understood that the race of superpowers for weapons and a strong military force would pose harm to them the idea of non aligned movement was first discussed in a meeting held bandung in indonesia in 1955 the first conference of the non aligned countries was held in belgrade in 1961 jawaharlal nehru was the first prime minister of india said once non aligned movement 
does not mean to keep aloof from the world affairs rather it is to face many issues we confront